Cheryl, there is an emergency. What's that, Laverne? My father is going on vacation. Oh, that's good. You know, he really needed a vacation. I'm sure he's tired of making all those pizzas and all that. You don't understand, Cheryl. He's asking you and me to run the pizza place. And I've got a date tonight. Well, I'm sure you could turn that date down. I mean, it's not like you get dates every day, you know? Well, still, um, uh, I've got a date tonight too, so I can't make it. Why don't you turn him down? It's not like you get dates every day. Oh, <laughs> well, we could find someone to run the pizza place while we're gone. But we would need two gullible idiots to run that place. And where are we going to find two gullible idiots? Hello. I need you to give me and Lenny 50 cents to go to the movies. I need extra, um, 10 cents that way. We could hit a bus. Wow, we actually, you know, tricked them. That's like amazing. Yeah, now it comes to the point of actually convincing them. Yeah. Oh, Lenny, Squiggy. Hey, will you guys do us a little favor? Yeah, do us a little favor, boys. Look, if it's that modeling job, I am not going to do it. Unless it snows in December. That is what I would do it. But I do not allow people to see this beautiful face right here come to them on the big screen. Nuh-uh. No way. Yeah, same here. It is not a modeling job, you idiots. I need you to run my father's pizza place for me. Well, I go on a date and... So, will you run the pizza shop for us? Fine. Come on, Lenny. See you later, lady. Laverne, are you sure this is a good idea? I mean, seriously. What if, what if they do something horrible to the shop? Oh, relax. If they try to do anything stupid, Carmile will come in, okay? Okay. Fine then, I'll trust you. But if they do anything stupid and I get blamed for it, you are in deep trouble. Okay? Now you go on your little date. You know, Boo Boo Kitty, I'm sure Cheryl's gonna have a wonderful time. You know, with her date, and whatever it is her going, she's going. And you know what? You are right, Boo Boo Kitty. I should go on that date with On my bed. Right here. On my bed. And you stay right there. Okay. I'm coming, Charles! Okay, let me see how this money thing works. Um, Lenny had... Lenny, could you not be so close to my face? Sorry! Sorry! Okay, let me see. Um, let's see. Let's see here. Let's see. Well, I'm throwing in the towel. I don't know how it works. We could call Shirley and ask how, how, ask how it works. Nah, that would make us women. Now come on, Lenny, we're leaving. Wait a minute, how's Shirley going to know if we're running the place or not? Leave that to me, okay? Come on. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Ooh, that was a fun day, huh, Cheryl? I guess if you're being picked up like a tree, and then you have to beat up freaking weird, scary ladies, I guess it's kind of fun. Oh, come on. Calm down, Cheryls. Ring, 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 ring. I'll get that. Hello? Hi, Pop. What do you mean you're coming home soon? How long is soon? What do you mean I'd know that if I were married? Oh no, this doesn't sound good. Not at all. Oh, oh, this isn't good. No, no, not at all. No, no. Please tell me that wasn't your father saying he's coming home early. Actually, it was. He said he'll be here soon. 
I don't know what soon means, though. But we've got to act fast. Yeah, and who knows what Lenny and Squiggy have been doing while we'll be gone. Come on, we've got to go. Come on, Cheryl, pick up your feet faster. I can only run so fast, Le Le Laverne. <laughs> Come on, who knows what they've been doing? Or not doing. Okay, okay, I can explain logically. Then why aren't you at the register then, L Squiggy? Well, me and Lenny got really hungry, and plus we didn't know how to work the register, so we left and went to go get burgers, and that is what we did. You idiot! My father left an instruction manual right under the desk in case he got amnesia and forgot how to work the register! I thought it was a booster seat. So I put my butt there. Well, just be glad my father's coming home soon. And otherwise, you would have been an inside-out ravioli. Eh, <laughs> heh, That'll be 50 cents. And an extra 50 cents and an extra 10 cents for the bus home. No way! We're not going to give you those 10 cents. Now get out right now. Fine, fine, fine. I'm going, I'm going. See? I'm going. <sighs> Come on, Shirls. We've got pizza to make. Um, hello, welcome. Hi, remember me? Uh-oh, um, let me just speak with the manager's daughter for just a second. Thank you. Laverne! Laverne, she's back! Laverne trying to kick her butt! She's back! She's back! What do you mean she's back? Are you crazy? <gasps> Seriously? She's a- Hello, remember me? It was just crazy. Laverne, please help! Okay, look, just be glad I'm a DeFazio and I know what to do. Laverne, I'll never forget you. Remember that? I'll even get a stuffed animal and name her Laverne DeFazio. I am not going to go out there and let her beat me up. I am going to do what my father does when he sees somebody he doesn't like. Okay, I just remember I love you. I'm not going to get beat up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go. Hi. Hello. Remember me? Party? Earlier? A few minutes ago, probably? I don't know who you are, but you know what? I hate to say this, but we are close. If you could see the time. Vern, what's the time? It's, um, uh, 9 o'clock. Yeah, 9 o'clock. Totally. Funny, how come up there it says 8 o'clock? Because it's broken? Yeah, it's broken! It's been broken since this, since this place opened up. Yeah, that's it. It's broken! Funny, because I see it moving. Did I say it's broken? I mean, it's daylight savings time. Yeah, and it went an hour ahead. So, you know, it's 9 o'clock now. I'm sorry. You better be right, girl. Or else, you're going to have to taste this boot right here. And you're never going to guess what's going to go. Yeah, it's going to go out the door. Okay? Okay. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I'm out of here. This their pizza stinks anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. My father's pizza does not stink. It is the best pizza on earth. Laverne, Laverne, calm down, calm down, okay? Calm down. I am not going to calm down. Hold my L for me. Okay then, but just so you know, you are a really, really good friend. Ah, uh, so now what you gonna do? Oh, you want to know what I'm going to do? Shirley, you still got my L. Yeah. I'm going to do this. Ah! Laverne, are you okay? <sighs> oh, yeah. I'm fine, Charles. That'll teach her. It don't mess with my father's place. I think we should close the shop before her friends come along. You do it. I'm too beaten to a pulp. Ugh. So what have we learned today, Laverne? 
Never trust Lenny and Squiggy to do something in their own ways. Leave people with really high boots alone. I'm glad you understand, Cheryl. I mean, Laverne. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not the biggest idiot in the world. I wonder who the biggest idiot in the world is. Hello.